My name is Judith Hermandy Berendt. I am uh, the coordinator of the Erasmus Plus app project, representing Alta as the leading party in the consortium that is working on the enhancement of the app. Uh, we are in this consortium, we are working together with our partners uh, who are the Erasmus Student Network and the European University Foundation. And uh, the actual development work is implemented by two subcontractors. Mm. Nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Hilal and I'm a student ambassador in Alte. I'm studying my master's in uh, clinical and health psychology. And uh, I'm currently uh, a stipendium Hungarian student. And, um, and uh, nice to meet you again. Uh, yes, nice to meet you, Hilal. Uh, you mentioned that you're uh, currently at Alte with stipendium Hungarian, but uh, if I know well, you have some experience also with Erasmus uh, program, Erasmus Mobility. Would you mind sharing some of your experience? Yeah, of course, I, have, I would love to share some of my experiences. I've been on, uh, on Erasmus in, back in 2018 uh, when I was a bachelor's student in, uh, in Istanbul Şehir University back in Turkey. And um, going on an Erasmus exchange was, was one of my biggest dreams, so to say, because uh, before, even before I chose to study, chose to a university to study, uh, I was like looking how many outgoing students are there, like what are the opportunities for going on an exchange. So it was like one of my biggest dreams, even before I chose uh, a university to go. And then uh, I took my first step uh, on my second year uh, and I went to uh, Slovenia, uh, the, the capital Ljubljana for my Erasmus studies and I stayed there around nine months and uh, I, can, I can easily say that it was like a turning point of my life because I made a lot of good friendships, I learned a lot about uh, adapting a new environment. And uh, it was uh, like, of course, besides the unforgettable memories, there were some small challenges as well. I am, I'm really glad that you, you loved your Erasmus stay. And this is quite common that there are certain challenges during these mobility journeys, during these mobility phases. Uh, could you share some of these challenges with us? Yes, uh, actually even mine, the challenges are in, in two parts. Uh, one part is the official processes until you go there, and uh, which is like mainly the learning agreement because uh, back in 2018 there were a lot of um, how to say, information sources, but the, the, it wasn't really clear which way to handle. And uh, as a naive student, if you're taking the first step doing so, then it's very confusing who to listen, what, what information resource to rely on. So uh, I really needed a very, um, how to say, unified, uh, unified and, and accountable resource to, to rely on. Yeah, this is, this is exactly what we are uh, working towards uh, when, uh, when uh, designing and implementing the, the, uh, and improving the Erasmus Plus app. Because we know that this is very important for students to have a reliable source of information. And the app is exactly uh, aiming to, to serve as, a, as an online one-stop shop for students where they can access and complete all the administrative steps that need to be taken uh, towards their uh, successful mobility journey. The app is actually, just as you mentioned, the learning agreement, let me refer to that. The app is actually interlinked with the online learning agreement platform so that students can get uh, updates and notifications on the status of their uh, learning agreements. But uh, you mentioned some other kinds of challenges as well. Yes, uh, they are, they're mostly about the practicalities, especially before you're going to a new country, you would like to know how, how am I going to get from airport to the city center, where is my dormitory, how can I even find a dormitory, whether I can find, or like if I want to rent my own place, who to ask help for, or even the procedure of the renting a, a house, because it can be different in every country. So for, for those information, I still needed to go back and find the students who have been in the city that I was than before and uh, sometimes it was difficult to reach out to them because um, like if you don't if you if there is nobody that you know that has been in that city then you need to google some other uh, student vlogs and figure out how they handled and uh, it was like one of the challenge uh, but back at that time I figured out that it was like very useful still to read student experiences through the internet because uh, they were explaining how they handled the procedure so you you feel more uh, less stressed that you're going somewhere novel 
And um, another challenge was uh, after you get there, you want to figure out like wh what places to go. Like you, you want to discover the city, you would like to uh, live a student life, so to say. But if you don't know w where exactly they are, then, then you're still lacking the information and you're kind of like uh, lacking the orientation, so to say. And the universities are really helpful in general for that, but you would like to hear student experience as well. So back at that time, again, student looks were very, very helpful. Um, but uh, I can I can easily say that if if again there was a unified uh, place before even before you go on an exchange, you you can actually like open uh, open the cities and read about who lived what because Erasmus experience is like characteristic and different in every city, every country. So maybe even before you actually go there, you would like to learn about what is the student life like or, or what places to see. And you can maybe decide based on that. But without having all of those in one go, then it's a bit difficult to, to uh, how to say, consider your actual options. So Erasmus Plus app is actually uh, very great that you can, uh, you can maybe compare the cities even before you decide on where to go. I'm happy to hear that uh, you find the, the app and its features useful. Actually, the functionalities have been designed in a way that uh, it would guide users through the uh, different mobility phases from the very early steps of just thinking of going on Erasmus, uh, really up, up until the end of the journey, up until uh, getting back home and returning home. Uh, and um, uh, the mobility journey phases are, uh, um, are set up in the app that uh, students can follow the tasks that they need to perform and the information that they, they need to gather on a checklist basis. So basically, uh, students can easily uh, go through these mobility journey steps and the related tasks. What is uh, also uh, helpful in the app, and uh, let me just get back to you referring to your experience and how to find places and how to find different uh, events and programs, is that uh, the app offers events, programs, deals for students, and not just in a stream, not just as a text, but also on the map view, which is quite handy when finding a location. And uh, you also mentioned that you, you really liked uh, students' blogs and blogs uh, in getting more information about the, the uh, uh, destination city. And uh, um, we have actually this feature in the app because users can share their tips best practices, experience, stories with fellow students and thus uh, everyone who is interested in a certain location, a certain destination, a certain university can get first-hand information from those students who have already experience on their, uh, or, or in that uh, institution, in that city, in that country. Uh, but uh, uh, what is, what is uh, also helpful, I would say, is that universities uh, either should they be host or home universities, have the possibility to, to upload university-specific, institution-specific information in the app, which is relevant only for their uh, outgoing and incoming students, so they can kind of customize the app for, for the needs of their incoming and outgoing students. But um, um, as I mentioned a bit earlier, it is also, uh, the app is also for uh, helping students with the administrative steps. And it is actually uh, available for students to apply for the Erasmus Plus Mobility um, uh, within the app. So uh, I was just wondering uh, that uh, if you would apply again for the Erasmus, would you, would you use this feature? Would you try uh, applying for the Erasmus Plus Mobility within the app? And for sure, because um, as I said, I studied my, my bachelor's in a different university and we had a different system for applying for Erasmus. So any time you would like to uh, take another action for doing uh, another exchange, then you need to get to know the process all again. So it's good that there is only one app, even though it's customized differently in the institutions. It's, 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 it's really good and uh, handy and useful to know how to do it in one platform and then you can repeat the procedure again. So I would definitely find it useful. Glad to hear. Now we are testing it <laughs> uh, in, 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 your, uh, uh, in this stakeholder group. Uh, but um, another thing I wanted to uh, raise your attention is, to, is that uh, within the app, it is possible to generate a European student card, a digital European student card. 
this card is not meant to replace the local uh, students' cards because these are very often smart cards letting you do payments or letting you in different buildings or dormitories. But it is more like a driver's license, what you can use on a show and go basis and what let your European student status be recognized by service providers. The aim of the uh, digital student's card within the app is basically to provide students with services similar to what they have in their home university but also in their new destination country. So uh, this is, this is I, I would definitely say, is a very promising and, and prospective feature. But uh, uh, we also have to add that this is a brand new feature launched in September. So it needs to reach a bit of time until all the service providers uh, recognize it and, and um, uh, give the certain benefits and, and, and uh, deals and accesses to, to link to this card. Um, I don't know if you tried it already or what do you think about such a digital card in the app? Uh, I didn't try it, but uh, to be honest, it sounds very handy because um, even though I, I have been in only one exchange, I have a lot of different cards for, for the library, for the gym, for the school, for the dorm. And, and maybe like even though this card will not be passed for all of it, it's still like if you're traveling around different countries, you want to be recognized as a student in other European countries. And it's like a traveling to different places is one of the core ambitions when you're going to Erasmus because you know that you will have a lot of time to, to discover around and I remember being in another country and trying to get a student uh, discount for a museum and uh, they, they, they couldn't rec because they were like um, very strict by recognizing uh, other uh, institutes uh, cards so to say so if, if, if your card is authorized by another country then then the process becomes a bit tricky and um, having this uh, having this having this feature in the app would definitely be very very helpful because you would uh, you would freely be recognized in any European country you would go and uh, also like benefit from the from the features that students benefit in, in anywhere in the Europe great to hear <laughs> and uh, my last question is would you suggest downloading the app to your fellow students for sure because uh, like I'm just remembering my my process again in 2018 and uh, I would if I had this app I would find it way more easier to figure out where to do what to like, what to bring with me from Turkey because once I was in Europe I noticed that oh I didn't bring some uh, some 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 food from my country and apparently in the app I saw this uh, uh, student uh, tips like what to do before you come and one of them is bring some special food from your country for the other people so so this is something so easy maybe common sense but if you're on the next like if you're going to an exchange you have a lot of things in your mind that you're considering and then this this common sense is not coming to you so uh, it, like this is just an example of course the other uh, the other aspects that we already mentioned it's going to be very useful for the technical um, practical issues but also uh, for the experience itself will the, the quality will be definitely uh, enhanced very good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.